All right, man. This is it. We're good. We're good. We're rolling. Going rolling. freestyle this shit. Yo, welcome back. New time listeners. First time listeners. Last time listeners. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> um, <clears throat> What's the vibe? This is the... Oh, you know what we stopped doing? What? Introducing ourselves. We stopped doing Man, that shit. I told you, you keep switching the shit up. Like, nah, 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 nah. I've just been doing what I've been doing. No, that needs to be a thing, though. You you remember one weekend, then you forget another week. I know, I'm just saying. It it, it needs to become a habit. Okay, this is Nico. Because <laughs> somebody was like, yo, I listen to your podcast, but I don't know which one is which. I sound the same. I'm like, we do not what? sound the same. Yeah, they we, said we yeah, sound, we the sound same? the same. He said, yeah, it sounds exactly <laughs> the same. I'm like, we don't sound the same. This is Nico, right? Yeah. And this is Abdallah. Oh, this is Nico, aka the Base Bandit, and this is Abdallah, aka Abdallah, the Dark Knight. Yeah. Um, what's going I, on? We sound the same. Yeah, they, Yo, she, she said that. You know who sound the same? Me and Wade. Like I don't. On the phone, we sound the same. Mm. It's been multiple times growing up. A girl he would be talking to would call the house. I would pick up. And she just started yapping. <laughs> first of all, first of all, the lights is not on. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna keep this in, though. I know. Don't worry, guys. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Lights up. Boom. Niggas on YouTube gonna be like, wait, what the fuck? What happened to this video? It's like, we was a little dim. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Um, So, did you ever catch the girl saying something a while before they realized that you wasn't Wade? They never said nothing too crazy. Oh, they come on, oh, they didn't come on the phone like, yo, last night was wild. Like, I, I stopped some of them, but I can't remember what they... It wasn't nothing crazy, like, sexually. Mm. But it, it would be, like, more so, like, like, gossip or, you know, like, you know, women talk. Okay. And yeah. it's like, oh, yeah, 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 this is not way. Yeah, that reminds me, like, even uh, even my mom, like our mom, we got, we be catching up. Our sisters, they can't tell. That's that's crazy. They can't tell. That's crazy. I think Aunts, that's crazy. All of that. If we really, yeah. Mm. I don't know. I could tell people voices apart. Y'all don't sound like to me. We never spoke to you on the phone. You never spoke to Wade on the phone. Yeah, I don't see a reason. <laughs> hey, Wade. <laughs> I don't see a reason. Now, that reminds me, though. When's the last time you was on a three-way call with somebody and, like, just chopping it up? I don't know. Yeah, it's been a minute. Like, I used regular to phone conversation? do that shit. Like, with my know. cousins and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. What's going on, man? What's the vibe? The vibe is, it is what it is. Yo, we freestyling this episode because we ain't got no topics. Nah, that's we got a couple. True. That's not true. We got a couple. We got. We have topics. We got a couple, but it's cool though. It's been yo, everything's fucking coronavirus. I'm tired of talking about this shit, man. I'm tired of it. That's how I felt talking about. Remember that China last year? We were talking about like, like Kanye six. every week because he was doing mad shit. Kanye and China, and then it was it's China like every week. Every they week. Kept then doing it was something with like Donald no. Trump every week. It's like, but Donald Trump, yeah, that's it's like ah, it's, I don't talk about the same shit. Now it's the coronavirus. Every week is the same. More cases, more deaths, stuff, like, stuff like that. That's pretty much it. Like vaccines, it's like that. that's it. Bill like Gates. I'm over it. I'm over this shit. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it, bro. How do you feel about? How do you feel about? It's relevant still. Relevance to what? It's relevance, like it being a topic still. I mean, I guess it has to be a topic because you, it's you been a pandemic. It. So it's like, <clears throat> but it's just that we have a podcast. So it's not like, it's not like we're the news and we're obligated to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Like the news, they got to report a certain amount of deaths, certain amount of 
cases to make people you know seem like they're aware and shit no i get that i just want to know how you in particularly feel um about the virus or about it just being prominent so much about just it being prominent i mean i understand it even the pandemic so it's just that's the world's focus right now and, and distraction how you, right now and how do you feel about all these because like with 9-11, it's like, excuse me, we had what, Michael Moore at the time, and probably, probably, uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. The white guy. I Damn. couldn't tell you, honestly. I really don't know. Shit that Stephen always talk about. All right, when I remember his name, he's like big in conspiracy theories and stuff. That's what they always write him off as. Oh, okay. Anyway, it's like, let's say they had two people, like only those two figures at the time of 9-11. Now we have so many like whistleblowers. We have so many doctors coming out saying like, what they're telling you is fake. Mm -hmm. This is not how a virus works. Mm -hmm. This is, But then again, of course, it's like people who are not too familiar with that either, even they're still like i don't know for sure because i don't know if what the i know what the news is telling me is not 100 percent true but i don't even know if what you're telling me is 100 percent true right that's so how it's like feeling. yeah of course <laughs> of course and yeah. that's why you always got to do research on you know whatever information you come across but um, yeah i'm just saying like the time we're in today it's like more people are more outspoken yeah, because we all got platforms. Everyone has a platform to a certain extent. If you have an Instagram yeah, you page, get, Facebook, get, you have yeah. a platform. Even yeah. if it's small, you got a platform. Yeah, true. People have a platform. They want to They want to. You use a particular Instagram. hashtag and you're open to like a whole pool of people. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I just wanted to, I just want to realize, I mean, not realize, I just wonder how long this shit gonna be going on for. That's just the thing about. Like, I just wanna well, get course, back yeah. to a semi regular life. I wanna start going out again. I mean, I, I, I mean, I wanna rush it. Of course. But like being in the house every day is. Did you like, did you look into um? I never looked into it. Uh, like cases after, like Georgia was opened up again. Like if Georgia's the numbers, open again? Like certain parts. Nah. And certain um I know Florida trying to open certain, up again. Uh, businesses like salons. I, yeah, I did hear about that. Yeah. Nah, nah. Cause I don't know. I don't know if those reports of the numbers is real. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like because certain people anticipate there's like, nah, that shit is just like an experiment. They gonna contaminate these areas or whatever. And y'all niggas gonna go out like dickheads or whatever. But it's like, I don't know. Be that's why I was asking you if you paid attention to the numbers. Cause if yeah. it increases, it's like, all right, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. But if it is relatively the same or it decreased, then it's like you don't know if it's it's too, really safe enough. There's two sides to like the like like people in this in this pandemic. It's the people that believe that, that like, they, it's folks that believe they're, um, they're like anti, they're anti self isolation. Like, they don't believe that the virus is that serious. They outside, they protest and they all in groups and shit. They don't wear no mask. Then it's the people that, um, that believe that the virus is, they don't really believe everything in the media, but they do believe that if you start going outside, like you said, the government is going to start, you know, doing shit to get you more affected. Um, that's like the two like well, polarizing figures. No, like I'm trying to say, I'm, like, I'm trying to use the word woke, but not really, because the folks that don't believe that the virus is real, they believe they're woke. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like it's not it's not a virus, it's not that big of a deal. We go outside, I ain't got no mask. Um, I ain't gonna catch it. But do like, they it's not are, really are they the same ones that believe in five G? Or they just don't believe any I, of that is real? I don't know. I don't know. 
because then I saw a video and I've been noticing that they're kind of aligned with like Trump and shit. Because um, you know Trump, he he's not really big on like he wants to get the country up and running again soon. So I saw like protesters like you're trying to keep us inside, like fuck Cuomo and um. We ain't wearing no masks. All that shit is fake. It's all bullshit. You know what I'm saying we want to we want to start doing what we want to do again. And then there's the other side of people that also think that they believe that they're woke. I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not saying I'm either one of these parts. I could be. I could be not. I'm just saying. Yeah. There's the other side that's like I don't really believe what the media is saying, but I feel like if they say to go outside, that's kind of wary. That's kind of like that's kind of tricky. Like, oh yeah, go outside for what? <laughs> like, you're gonna, do, you're gonna start. Exposing us to more radiation, you're gonna start yeah. exposing us to more. So, so it's like it's two different sides of people that I'm noticing that like they're they're trying to figure out things. I want to use the word woke, but it's not. I'm not really woke. Um, it's just interesting because I'm I'm in the middle. Like, what I do you would, mean by they're trying to figure out things exactly? Like they're trying to think outside the box, but at the same time, we don't really like know what's going on their, already. But at the, but at the same time, it's like they're feeling their way as they go, while thinking outside the box. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really know what to call it. To be honest, I'm trying to gather my words. To be honest, oh. um, I feel like just everyone is in a space where we don't really know what the fuck's going on. To be honest. Like as much as I know about 5G and radiation and all that, I don't know if this virus is really that contagious. But people are people are saying they they're dying from it. You know what I'm saying like yeah. I don't know. So it's like, do I go outside on my bully? Like, I mean, I'm going to the city to chill. I ain't gonna catch this shit. I got my stones with me. I got Shanghai stones. I got my herds. I'm good. Or it's like, is people really catching this shit from somebody coughing in your face? Like, is it it? All right, my thing is, is niggas are we catching it? From people really like being contagious and a nigga cough in your space and you right there, and, or are you just getting sick from radiation? Like, like what is it? That's what I'm trying to figure out. To be honest, I'm in that space, mm. and I don't really believe what the media is saying because I know that mad people they saying they're dying, but these niggas are already on, they already on their deathbed. They already on their way. Like, I'm not going to contribute a death to somebody that got stage four cancer and they caught the coronavirus a week before they died. Doctor said you had two weeks left. You was going to die in two weeks anyway. <laughs> this shit sped it up. Like, I, 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 I ain't trying to make a joke of it, but. No, I, 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 got, I got what you're saying. That's what the media is making it seem like. They are. You all right? Yeah, I'm going to sit back and hold it. All right. They, um. Make sure you're in the shot too, cause you lean back. You might be. Um, the media, you know, I'm pretty sure y'all have seen cases and seen videos that you have, and y'all should look it up. Um, of you know, doctors coming out saying that like yeah, these people. Yo, I saw a video. Some girl, she said she went to the doctor. The nigga, nigga, they ain't even like he, he ain't do no test. All she did was tell him that like she had a fever and she was coughing a little bit. And he diagnosed. You got a coronavirus. You got COVID. And she was like, like wrote it on the paper, like diagnosed. Yeah. And and like that's very telling because imagine how many people was misdiagnosed. Misdiagnosed. You know what I'm saying? And that's just adding to the numbers. That's being all the records from the hospital is going to the news. I was. I was bumping uh Tariq Nasheed's podcast. I didn't look this up, but he mentioned um. Doctors are actually incentivized to diagnose these people at, with having COVID nineteen. They sound like cops with like speeding tickets and like tickets in the street. They're getting like how much thousand dollars for yeah. just diagnosing somebody? That's how I tell them. That's crazy, right? Help, help people, doctors, and they're sent, sent. protected because see, I'm be- telling, I don't trust these white coats. I, I don't put it past. I don't put it past it being, you know. I don't trust these uh, white coats, man. I'm telling fact. you. Because what other reason would there be for you to, like, just diagnose somebody without no tests? 
that's why when they was um when it was like when they first started rolling out they we don't really have a lot of tests not now they got spots open up jersey long island spots in brooklyn that's doing testing right but before all of that they was like we're gonna do the first big announcement como did he was like we're gonna do like an online survey to see if you got it i'm like how the fuck you gonna do that <laughs> coughing fever chills i don't know you got the covid nigga that's that's the that's a bad common code that's a mild flu. That's radiation sickness. That's mad shit. Like that, it's mad things, bro. Some people just get migraines. You know what I'm saying some people maybe you got allergies and you. You know what I'm saying like it's other it's other things that go on that you have these these, these symptoms. So I'm just like, how is an online survey you gonna determine mm-hmm. you know if somebody truly got COVID nineteen yeah, like, or not? That's just crazy. Um, it's a whole guessing game, bro. But you just mentioned something that that's 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 funny to me. Like uh, the testing centers. Yeah. So apparently, they're gonna be testing. Uh, well, administrating COVID nineteen tests at different housing projects around New York City. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? It's a project. They're in the projects. <laughs> but it's all it's all one big project. You I wonder what right? the yeah, huh? You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's a project. It's a and project. you're in the projects, yeah. It's in the name. Yeah. Like get hit. But it's like all it's right. in the Hamptons. What do you think the possible stimu- stipulations are? Like as long as you're government funding to an extent we have to test on you um you understand what i'm saying yeah yeah kind of i mean like you with the projects with the new york housing is is usually minorities because it's it's the more affordable thing you know and and the 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 income medium for Minorities is obviously lower, so they can afford to be in those. So they probably going, yeah, they probably going to put all the bullshit in those areas first. They ain't going to do that in the Hamptons or people that, you know, um, have resources and but see, money. And it's a different uh, like demographic. You said put all the bullshit in those areas. Like, so you mean like. A possibility of the injections being like contaminated. Who knows? They may, nigga. They may test out the vaccines first, and then that's that's what they do. Basically, monitor reactions. Yeah, that's how they test vaccine. They test it on animals first, and then they probably do it on humans. And then when they think it's like good for the public, then they fuck everybody over. That's why I understand, like, with the um. Like the rich, the rich people, the wealthy people, y'all getting fucked over too. Y'all just get fucked over later on. That's yeah. how I feel. Everybody's getting fucked over. It's only it's only a selective group of people that I believe that like the ones that's in control and the ones that know the people in control. That's totally that, exempt. Yeah, but like the people that um you know the middle class, the niggas, they still getting fucked over. I think millionaires are still getting fucked over in some in some form of fashion. It's just you got money. Money don't protect you from all, you know, all bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you in that, and now you in that billionaire class, then you know, you know a few folks that could, you know, exempt you from some conditions. But man, these people don't give a fuck about nobody but themselves. And just because you got a couple million dollars, don't mean you safe. But the 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 what is Cuomo the governor or the the mayor? He's not the mayor. He's the governor. He's Ma- the governor. Mayor is Bill De Blasio. Yeah. yeah. But according to him, the residents, NYCHA residents, will also receive like five hundred thousand masks and ten thousand gall- gallons of hand sanitizer. Okay. It's all through oh, a program. Okay. 
Is so what if they're like, but well, we are doing good. Who's saying we are doing good? I'm saying people will be like, oh, they, they are, so they are doing good. Because you said because they're giving them yeah masks and hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. So I mean, so we don't necessarily have a sinister sinister plot, or they may not necessarily have a sinister. Look you know. At the bar, though. Look at the bar. Because you know, the there's always so somebody that out there that's like you know. Look at one good thing and be like, you know, try to run with it. Look at the bar, though. The bar is so low. Right, we got gallons of hand sanitizer and, and mask. Okay. But look at all the things they do negatively in the community. Like That's lack of funding. That's poor food in the supermarkets. That's uh, fucking lead poisoning in the paint that, that's not being repainted over years. That's uh, mice infestation like it's a whole bunch of things that go into communities that's all right we're gonna give you some masks and some hand sanitizer so we 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 actually care about y'all but look about everything else like if you've been to the projects you know like they don't be keeping that shit clean like they should it's 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 not even mice it's rats infestations um <laughs> like people got like chip paint in a building, and then years later, they find out that 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 added to them getting cancer. Like it's a whole bunch of shit. Like um, the food. Like you go to a nice area in Williamsburg or a nice area in LA. You got the food is better. You got better options. Like you go to the hood and fucking uh, key food. You got basic ass food. You don't got no. You don't really got nothing. Nothing really organic. You don't got really nothing that's um you can't really like just compare Whole Foods to like uh fucking shop fair or some shit. Fine fair or something. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just it's different. Like I can't even find a case of Fiji water in my supermarket. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like little shit like that is like I catch a essential water one bottle. But like to get a whole gallon or like like a cow, the uh, the cow things that you cut and you pour it out, like you can't you, 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 you can't find any of that shit. You can't find alkaline water like that in in our areas. But why though? I'm pretty sure these supermarkets make a lot of money. I'm saying I'm pretty sure like Union Square ain't that far from from where we live right now. You telling me they can't get the same shipments from there to here? Yeah, it's not that far. You know what I'm saying it's a thirty minute ride. Or fifteen minutes on, 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 if you're in the car, like it's not it's not that that deep. So, like I said, the projects is projects. I'm saying, if you look at the origin of projects, like they, you know, it would be really awesome. interesting if they did, like, if they rolled this out in all like the biggest cities around the country, L. A. New York, in Atlanta, terms of like all Miami, their projects, Houston, all the heavily pro- uh, Orleans, populated Chicago, projects, yeah, yeah. like Detroit. happen to have testing in these areas. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. I'm pretty sure that's that's why. Like for an example, remember when those two doctors, those French doctors, that was like, oh yeah, we should do testing in Africa because he kind of compared them like. He prostitutes. Yeah, like he kind of compared Africa to prostitutes in a sense where like they're less valued. So let's just test on them to see how it goes, type shit. Yeah, of course. You know, so that's like the mindset. Yeah, it's the same thing with the Nazis. Yeah, yep. And same thing with Japan and Manchuria, yep. China. It's the same and exact slavery. thing. Yep. Once you find yourself superior. All right, we could just let's experiment on these niggas. Yeah. See how they react to certain shit. Yeah. But yeah, man, I'm ready for it to be over. I, just I had something else. Survive this shit. Can't let these niggas get to me. You know what I'm saying, keep a level head. That's pretty much what I've been doing. We are gonna switch gears a little bit. All right. Uh, you like talking about aliens, right? Yeah, let's do it. I love aliens. 
<laughs> so recently the navy like uh intelligence well naval intelligence they recently declassified footage and evidence of ufo sightings and like visitings mm. how do you feel why that's why the thing that? that's the thing like that's 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 what i'm weary about all these years is top secret all these years, I had a whole mil- a whole fucking base. That's but to be honest, I'm gonna say this: a sudden, you want to drop, you want to drop like it's an album. To be honest, I'm gonna say this: they do have um, sus like classified information for a certain amount of time. And then what? They just declassify it. For, for what reason though? Like, okay, what's the? I don't know why they do it. To be aliens honest. exist or not aliens, but like there there are UFOs. In 2017, like, 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 what's the what's the point of that? 2020. No, the views were from 2020. No, uh, uh, 17. They claim it's from 2004 to 2000. What, 16 or 17? I saw 17. Either way, what's the point? Like, y'all been trying to keep it. A I don't know. All these years, it just seems. I don't know. It just seems like for what though? It seems so timely. Like, why? Why now? That's that's my question. Why now? I'm skeptical. Why? why Some people now? believe they're potentially gonna stage a, uh, a fake alien interplanetary attack? yeah attack. So we could like band together and be like one nation, one yeah. one world, new world new order. World. Yep. To be honest, bro, this is why we need a one world government. Yo, t- 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 yo, to be honest, that shit ain't gonna work. You know why? Like, people ain't gonna come together regardless. Like, literally, aliens could come down right now, and like. We about to fuck y'all up. And the only way to to really beat them, or I guess, is to band together everybody on the same page. Nobody gonna do that shit. No, I think people would. People is not doing that shit, son. I'm telling you right now. I don't believe it. I don't think I don't think Asian I know for a fact Chinese people is not coming together with us to band together. I know for a fact. I know that uh I don't even think blacks and whites are going to come together like that. I think so. I don't know. Listen, blacks and whites came together for the Civil War. Like coaches. Revolutionary like, War. Okay. World War One, World War them, II. Right? But I think cultures that surround about around like uh, Indians, Japanese, Chinese. I, bro, I don't think they. I don't believe that they going to connect with us. You talking about like as an American? No, just in general. They oh, only they're gonna not be gonna... around their people. Period. Same thing Why do you Jews. feel like that though? Same thing with the Jews. I, I, bro, I think, bro, I think that those cultures, and this is not a knock on them. This, this may be why they're so prevalent in in, in the world. I think they rather die with their people than be around other people. I think at, I think at the bottom line, they would rather. Die only with their people, then, then possibly live and unite with others. But their business—I believe that for the Jews, wholeheartedly. Nah, because their businesses is is with other it's people. It's business. They using other people for money. That's different from you uniting for humanity. You got to work hand in hand. I mean, if you. Think about it. If you want to enjoy, I can those, hate somebody and still want to take your money. I'm being money from you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If you could, but if this, you could put up an act for was, that, you're gonna put up an act to fucking live to spend the know. money that you just. I do not know that coerced or whatever. I do not know that. I do not know that. I just don't believe it. I don't. I don't see it that way. I think black people. I think that we're. We're I the think, most like. We're the most welcoming, we're the most compassionate of all, nigga. That would be willing to. And that's like, a fact. I don't care what anybody say. Amalgamate to fight. It's for not the even planet. close. It's not even close. That's how I feel. Um, I feel like we'll put shit aside because look, 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 look at now, like we get shit on by by everybody in some um type of way, and you still see it being compassionate. I'm saying no, I agree but with other that. Other coaches, like you go to some country, they don't even they don't want you in a fucking restaurant, they don't want you in a hospital, they don't want you in a space. They got their own buses, they own. You know what I'm saying, 
We ain't never did that to other people. As far as I know. Like, y'all, y'all can't come here or we killing you. I, I ain't never see that from us. Mm, except for North Sentinel Island, which I don't give them no faults. Yeah, I mean, but they doing this like to preserve they, like, literally, like, literally yeah. their health. Because they on an island where they ain't got no medics, like, no, like, no, like, westernized And guess what? Medicine. Coronavirus is not prevalent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they, meet, yeah. <laughs> they live through all of this stuff. Yeah, so this is different. But and like, they don't have no f- face mask, hand sanitizer. Yeah. yeah. Cause like some That's shit like this thing. could like wipe them out type shit. Like they probably got a couple thousand people on the island, probably. Um, but yeah, that that's just how I feel. I guess it's not a not. This is this is uh an observation and a thesis of mine. I think that if it came down to it, I think black people would be like, "Yo, let's like let's at least try to." You know what I'm saying, but I just made a. I tweet. think Asians would be like, "Nah, we ain't fucking with y'all." Jews is like nah, we ain't, we nah, we ain't fucking with y'all. Why like I, I put see why Jews we... and white people a little different. Why is that? Because Jews is like a it's a culture, right? It's a way of life. Is it is it a religion? It's a religion. It's a religion. Okay, but they move different from other white people. Clearly, think about it. Think They're about it. They're just white people to me. To you, but. Being born and raised in New it's York, like it's I like see somebody uh I see somebody white that may live in uptown and they may you know say hello they may you know you see them you know see something like that but then you see Jews in Brooklyn that no acknowledgement they stick to their group they sit near their group they speak only to their group they only do business with their group unless they sell something to you like shit like that so it's I see the differences in it. They even no, dress I, the part for the most part. I see where you're coming from and I get what you're saying. But at the same time, the reason I'm saying what I'm saying is because I've seen Jews who and it's well, different, Jewish people who It's different kind of Jews. I'm just saying who are financially more off than the than the stereotypical Jew that we would see as far as the one dressed in all black or whatever. But that person acts like so like incognito you don't even know that the person is jewish unless like they tell you their name or they tell you like you know their denomination that's why i'm saying what i'm saying like you wouldn't even know sure but the way they act is like that's what i'm saying like them, them niggas it's like it's like subcategorizing or drawing that disparity but look how they move as a culture between Everyone white has their own culture within their religion. Nah, but listen, their... it's like drawing that uh, disparity between white people and um hillbillies. It's like saying hillbillies are not white. Hillbillies is a different no, no, no. culture. It's different. I mean, Jews you see what I'm saying? Though? Not a white thing. You know? No, but you see what I'm saying? It's yeah. a way of life. At the end of the day, yeah. Like I would put. Black Americans different from West Indian people. Of course, there's difference in culture yeah, to an extent. Difference in culture, different the way. That's they the move, main thing. Culture. Way, yeah. So, so I'm so I'm just pointing out. And religion is just built they, on culture. Within their culture, I just see that specific group, and it's a lot of them. And I, the only reason why I'm saying that is because it's it's enough of them that I see for me to make this distinction, like. No, I the get, way they move, I'm like, yeah, they, nah, they ain't gonna be, yeah, hand in hand, come on, let's let's fight the aliens, nah, I don't believe that. They got their own buses, for God's sake. They own buses. You can't go on that bus. What? I mean, I don't care about that though. I'm just, saying, but think think of the method though, that little shit like that, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the same thing with hospitals. Certain hospitals, they wouldn't treat you. But it's like, See, the, the that's my culture, whole point. Is like, not Why fucking. would we build all of this stuff if we're not going to, if we're going to act selfish and potentially acting selfish would hinder our proc- procurement of these things? I'll tell you, this is what I believe. I believe. I might as well join forces with you. We win this and I go back to my bigoted ways. But look, but thing is, I believe that. For the most part, how you do one thing is how you do everything. 
So if you're a, you know, um, a like an all for one person or like a selfish person, you ain't just going to be able to just turn that off when you want to, even if it's life threatening. I just don't believe that. I think if you're a selfish person to the core, not saying they are, but I'm just saying in general, if you are a selfish person to the core, even if it's life or death, I don't think you would just be able to turn that off for the better good. And on the opposite, if you're a good person and you need to like be like evil, mm-hmm. I guess to get something done, I don't think I'll be able to just turn that on just like that. Because I, 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 I'm a good person in my heart. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, so I don't know if they'll be able to just be like, oh, yeah, for the better good, let's just turn it over and then we get back to our shit. I don't think they'll be able to do that. Me, me personally. All right. So it's a word. It's called a Pharisee, right? Mm-hmm. Pharisee. P-H-A-R-I-S-E-E, right? Mm-hmm. It's mentioned in the Bible. It's also mentioned in uh, Jewish holy books. Now, when you... The Jews, they have two books, the Torah and the Talmud. The Talmud was an orally, um, like, con- conceived book by 70 Pharisees that sat around the bottom of Mount Sinai or Mount, I think it's Mount Sinai. Mm-hmm. They claim that this is the way that they're supposed to live and all of that stuff. We t- I touched on this before with the podcast. Okay. Now, when you type in Pharisee, when you type in Pharisee, right, and look up all of its antonyms, I'm going to just read a couple. Because like you said, the way you do one thing is the way you do everything, right? For the most part, I believe so. So... When you type in Pharisee, look. So let me type it in. Click on thesaurus. These are some of the antonyms, right? Uh, Actor, backslider, bigot, bluffer, cheat, crook, deceiver, decoy. So all deceitful things. Or like like pretending. Exactly. So now, if this is my core nature... I don't care if I'm labeled as a Jew, as a Christian, as an angel, as a demon, whatever. I'm going to do what I need to do to basically get ahead. Period. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. You can look at them as far as how they I don't necessarily view them that way, though. I'm not saying... And I... That, I'm not saying all of them are viewed this way, but I'm saying it doesn't matter how they portray, portray themselves to society as far as these are our distinctive ways to the average white person. Doesn't, I, don't, I don't look at that. Okay. I look at the core. So now when you look at major wars... Or disputes, and you come to see that major, like, like wealthy Jewish foundations or families funded both sides. It's like, hmm, interesting. Even when Jewish people suffered from this particular war or event, mm-hmm. it's like, damn, you don't even care about your own people. Mm. You see what I'm saying? That's how I look at them. So, I mean, people, you're always gonna, they're always gonna put their best self forward in society to be like, yo, this is me. And, you know, you're gonna judge me accordingly or whatever. But I look past the facade. Sure. That's just image. Yeah. But like I said, it's not everyone. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just don't think that, and it's not, it's not a knock on them. Like if if they, like, if they didn't want to, like I said, I don't believe that, that them or Chinese, Korean, mm-hmm. Japanese, um, or like, I just don't think that they're, they're like 
on the other side of of the humans that I don't think would would mix. I think Hispanics would mix. I think um uh I think blacks would mix to you know for you know that that would unite in a cause like that. Um. Okay, but my whole thing is like some whites. I, I, say, I don't. I don't really. These are the same people that if these people mix with us to who. Mainly whites, that. mainly whites. Okay. Because those are the blacks and whites are the two with the main like racial tension, right? You would say. If they oh. mixed during slavery for f- over 400 years, living on the same land and all of this shit, right? Regardless of if it was be- on the basis of finance mm-hmm. and then they mixed again. For wars, for the procurement of that system, or for the, you know, uh, destruction of that system, they that they mixed again. So they mixed in finances, and now they mixed in war. You telling me they won't mix for war again for the the betterment, the procurement of the earth? That's why I'm. That's why I'm lost. Like it's like which which group you talking about? All of the above, because they um. all mixed before. I don't know. I really don't know. You don't know. Because you just said, you said slavery is not. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying whites Indian, and blacks Asian. are the main. That's why I said in the beginning that they're the main two with the most racial tension. But that's why I said I tension. believe that, that a good amount of, like, I don't know. I don't know about other countries, but I think a good amount of American whites would would mix. Yeah, would mix. Would, yeah, would, yeah, that would mix. That would mix. So you're saying the main people that won't mix is Chinese and Jews. Yeah, just because the way they move, just the way, just the way that I see them move. Think of okay, think of, think of, and like I said, this is no knock, but just even y- y'all admit it. Think of every school you ever been to, every workplace you probably ever been to. Every event you probably ever been to, I mm-hmm. I know what I observe. If if I went to, like, say tech for example, or the Asians hang together, or Chinese hang together, right? Mm-hmm. When you're in the train, if if all the Jews come on at a stop, they on one side of the train. That's what that's what I consciously notice. If if you go somewhere where it's, it's but like, see it's that's Indians. what I'm saying that's what I'm saying they, they, so they all sit with, with each other but that's what I'm saying there would be culture, people on the, bring on the train but you don't know them. they're Jewish though that's I'm saying that's I why mean, I, obviously you could look there's some folks that's Asian and you probably don't know they're Asian <laughs> no. you, yes no, no, no. some you folks know, that's you mixed know you, don't, you don't know you the, know they're Asian <laughs> or some folks that's Indian you, you may not know um, I'm just saying, from what I've seen, I just think they'll probably be like, nah, I'll do it by ourselves. We'll, I get what you're saying. We'll, y'all be on that side, and y'all do that, and then we'll try to just figure it out on our own way. Even if we may die. Yes. Yes, I just believe that. Okay. We probably won't ever see that come, though. We're, talk- we're talking about a fucking uh, alien invasion. I don't know. I'm just saying. I was just about just to from, ask you after. Just from how, from how, just like even on a smaller scale, I feel like if if another if another country was to invade New York, I think the Asians would hold up in Chinatown. They hold up in their areas. They not, yo, yo, you got, I got gun. Let's link up. Like I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Same thing with the Jews. Same thing with the Indians. I don't believe that shit. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna have to figure it out without them. We're just gonna have to figure it out. You know what I'm saying, type shit. That's why I said humans. They like, and the even most we the- one human race, we not as close as we think. People, people still gonna be like, I'm not, I'm not fucking with them. But they got their own prejudices. They got their own like, their own like way of living. It's already in their head. Like, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. And at the same time, you believe that the two, the the three most willing, as far as the, the three most open minded, most would be white Hispanics. Americans, yeah, 
Spe- Hispanics yeah, and black white Americans. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Because in the penal system, they're like the three most bitter enemies. <laughs> Who are the um, white Americans, which is Aryan Brotherhood, um, Hispanics, and blacks? I mean, yeah, we got the most fucking we we got the most. That's funny. We have that's a lot funny. of gangs. Eight uh, the Hispanic have a lot of, but you know, I don't know. This is for, from what I've seen. Yeah, I think people just gonna do what's convenient for them. Niggas is gonna be like you would I hope. Don't, I would hope so. I don't speak this English alien language. I don't want no alien pussy. I don't want no alien money. Like, I like what I like, and I like what I know. So, well, let's well let's hope. I'm gonna that put I'm up wrong. this front. Let's hope that I'm wrong, and we never get <laughs> act like I like this aliens. nigga. But uh, what? Let's say let's say next week, next month. An alien invasion happens. Because it's funny, because I wrote, I made a tweet, but I didn't even know that Bro, it was actually want- mentioned <laughs> in the media already. <laughs> and I mentioned in the tweet, I was like, it'll be funny if, like, there's an alien attack. Well, I'll put an alien visit. Uh, and um, it's misconstrued as an attack. And because of how the media portray aliens and all of this shit, we start attacking the aliens when in reality, they're like on our side. They're trying to help us and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I think about that too. I always think about like aliens be like, they probably want to save people from this earth because there's there's so much bullshit going on. That'd be funny. That'd be real funny. It would backfire though. They'll fuck us up. Because when you look at a lot of movies right now, it's like majority alien attack. Mm-hmm. Look at one of the biggest movies, franchises, Endgame. Yeah. Me and my damn mom, near me and my mom all just the, watched it the other day. Damn near it's all the so um, Avengers movies, it's some form of alien attack. Yeah. The first one was in New York, I believe. Mm-hmm. And every one of them had a CERN like machine. With the right Avengers, now, the Avenger movies, yeah. yeah, the Avenger ones, and and CERN right now they're trying to mix the dark matter with light matter. They're trying to open up the portal because majority of the world, majority of the universe, like ninety four percent, ninety six percent, either one of those it's numbers dark is dark matter. So everything we see is within six percent. That shit is crazy. So imagine think if it was shit, like, like twenty to eighty percent. What do you think about how much shit? more that things we'll be seeing? And CERN is like a circular machine, which is what all the shits was coming through. Yeah, in the in the end game. Yeah. Yeah. Socialization. They going yo, that's crazy. <laughs> imagine them opening up a gate. To like another dimension and shit just start coming through. Shit that we can't stop. <laughs> Yo, we crazy. Think about that shit, son. <laughs> and when you go back, it's like Yo. we've slowly been each genera each generation gets socialized because our generation was more um Mortal Kombat. Too. Yo, no yo, bro, no lie. What? This is no bullshit. No lie. I think this is how most people think. And, and and me too, no lie, bro. If 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 I've read right now on my phone, and I'm just being completely honest, if I read on my phone after we record that an alien attack happened in Sweden, I probably would keep strolling. I probably do. that's fucking crazy, and keep scrolling. Cause one, I'm numb. I'm numb. I'm like, all right, what, all right, what, what what can I do? <laughs> like. To my family, they probably already know. It's like, what what can I really do? What, what, what I'm saying? Where am I escaping to? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then it's just like, is it real? That's number two. Is, is it real? Is this story real? And number three, it's like, all right. Nigga, I done seen so much movies like this. Like, we, we got to have a defense against this type of shit. We, 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 we got to have something against it. Do you think human beings have defense against aliens? <laughs> this is a serious question. <laughs> 
Um, okay, let me let me to be let me, honest, let me I don't restructure think we that have question. Defenses against aliens, a formidable defense against aliens. I don't think so because I was watching the, um, a little clip of, of Joe Rogan podcast and some guy I forgot his name and he was just talking about CIA guy. Nah, 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 nah. I, I, nah. I don't think it was. I don't think it was that. But he was talking about like he he was very knowledgeable of like NASA and like just like. The organization and like like the defenses we have if like a media was to come to America or not, I mean the the world and shit. And he was like, you know how everybody believes that like we just got this big ass laser that the media comes just going to hit. The oh yeah, planet. yeah, I remember you. He was like, it. we don't have no funding for that shit. Like we don't have nothing for that shit. Like we, it's up in the air if that shit hit us. That's he, what he said. He could have been I, an nah, agent to nah, go on nah, Joe nah, Rogan nah, podcast I don't know. to say that. He said what? He could have been an agent to go on Joe Rogan I podcast. I don't know what the say. fuck he is. Because Joe Rogan podcast is number one podcast. Yeah, I don't know what he is. But he seems very knowledgeable. And when he said that, it was exactly. just interesting. This is interesting. Now, I, now, I'm not saying I believe him, so you don't have to no, say I'm that. No, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm just not saying, saying it's interesting, but though, because we do believe that. My whole life, I believe that we got this big ass laser that the shit get in within five hundred thousand miles. We gonna zap it. It's gonna turn to a bunch of small pieces, and we hope that it don't hit some shit. That's what I'm saying. But what if we don't have that, son? And this is how certain people, <laughs> when they go to the hospital, when they listen to their doctor speak, they may believe it because the mm-hmm. doctor sounds so knowledgeable. That's what I'm about saying. it though. Him telling us that, like, it don't really do shit. Yeah. Think about it. Athletes telling us COVID nineteen didn't really, it didn't really do shit. No, it made us scared most, though. It exactly. made us exactly. But think about it though. Exactly. Do we do like I heard that shit and I was like, all right, like what's the odds of us getting hit with a fucking meteor? You know exactly. This shit ain't happened in billions of fucking years. Yeah. It's gonna magically happen in twenty twenty. It's, it's interesting though. Imagine if we don't have some shit. You know how I many times we had close calls. <laughs> They say. They say. They say. Yeah. The fuck. They say. It's always they, a close they, call. I'm like, ain't nobody hitting us yet. My whole <laughs> shit is, this shit ain't happening in billions of fucking years. Ain't nobody no ha- planet. They never made a fucking article about a planet. Oh, Saturn was hit by a meteorite today or, yeah. or asteroid today. So it's like, it's interesting how would shit, we man. know? It's interesting. Everything right now is interesting. Everything for me right now is up in the air. Flat Earth theory, all that yeah. up in the air. For I used me. to. I ain't gonna lie. When I first heard that, shit, I'm like, up in the air. Kyrie Irving is bugging. I started looking into it more. I'm like, Bob. They like, they deleted shit, all his posts. Like, these niggas is not really crazy. Like, I can't say anything definitively if me I either. have not seen it, observed it for myself. Me either. So unless I go out of space, I said this on the podcast before. Unless I go out of space, oh no, you know. But then to be honest, I don't I even. Can't. I mean, I just watched a video. It was a it was a ad about. Actually, it was a TikTok. This girl's father, he's Mexican, came here as an immigrant, worked his way up, nigga, became an astronaut. Crazy story, and you know. It was a slideshow, and he was saying things as the slideshow went on, and he was like, I've been up in space. The Earth is round. And I'm just like, nigga, I'm trying to just envision it up in space. You already high. You can't really see. Like, when you, it's not like you going around the planet. Like, you going, like, around it type shit. You going up. So from down, it looked like a big ass like quarter. It looked like a big ass just circle. You not really see it. like it's round, but it could be or like like a quarter. It could be round but flat. You can't really determine if it's not round. I don't think so. Type shit. Or it may be a half circle. That's what I think. Mm. That's the that's kind of been in my brain. Like maybe it is round, but there is no other end. It's flat, and then it's like a half a ball type shit. That's that's what I'm starting to think. Because niggas is going to space saying but it's still round, but then niggas are saying it's a flat Earth. But see, a flat Earth could still mean it's round. It's round in shape. I ain't gonna from lie. an aerial view. I'm starting but to think it's flat it's, in it's, terms it's of land. It's flat mass. on the bottom, but then it it's like a little, little hump, little hill type shit. I mean, we got hills and mountains and valleys, yeah. so yeah, it'd have to be. It's, you know, it's it's interesting, man. But my 
I don't know. <laughs> we really don't know shit. We really don't know shit, to be honest. I always say that. We really don't know shit. Even shit in books, we really don't know. It's all written. We like to believe shit. The only thing I know right now, honestly, is that you in front of me right now. All, I can touch you right black. now. Yeah. That's the only thing I know. And that, like, I know people that I know, but, like, when it comes to shit that I read, I don't really know anything, bro. We we it's all it's all hope, unless you've been there. Hmm. You know what I'm saying it's crazy. It's all conjecture. It's yeah, man. It's it's interesting though. Sometimes I be feeling like all oh, this shit is just fiction. I just feel like sometimes I be feeling like just a lot of the shit that happened in this world that we read is just like somebody just had a ball, nigga. Somebody just had a ball. Like you know that this shit would be dope. I wrote this shit. I be feeling that way sometimes. Because something, I be like, sometimes I be looking at history. I be like, yo, this shit really like, this shit really sound like it's a movie. So this general, him, the chosen one, him out of everybody, he was chosen to be the leader of thousands of men. And they win the countries and took over. And he didn't die. One, he didn't die. He didn't get... It be sound like some 300 shit. This man, him, one man, chose to be the leader of 10,000s of people. And him by himself, he was in charge. He had commandments and he had like other leaders and shit, but everyone followed him and he invaded. It just sounds like nobody off this nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he was that good. It, 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 it's just, I don't know. Sometimes I be reading stories in history, I just be like, it sounded like the nigga was playing a video game. He just couldn't die. Like, he, he had the invincibility cheat. He had the juggernaut. You know what I'm saying? On. Like, I be speak, I don't know. Some stories be too good to be true. Like, he lived for how long doing what? He didn't die? Conquering shit, having beef with mad countries, niggas. What? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Life is fragile, but for niggas in the past, it's like niggas in history, they was like superheroes, it seemed like. It seemed like now it's so easy to die, but then back then, they was doing like legendary shit, and they was going on for years, like decades. Don't it seem that way? In a sense. In I a mean, sense. like, bro, it's mad easy. You get hit by a fucking car. In a sense. But they had mad shit back then, too. But they, they didn't have mad shit, too. So... For example, like niggas were sending like a mail and you had to like run for three days <laughs> to, to drop that shit off. <laughs> like, think about that. So it's like when you speak about this shit, you got to speak like you, you got to bring this shit home. Like you got to exaggerate, my nigga. You, you, I just uh, ran. Yo. I just ran all the way from Pennsylvania last <laughs> night. <laughs> I gotta. This gotta be the greatest story ever told. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I so think that's maybe, what it is. maybe that's what it I is. I think too. niggas are stretching. Niggas the truth. just told that story in a grander measure. Think about it though. In the Bible, they say Jesus walked on water and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Think about that shit. He yeah. turned. Well, he turned uh, water into wine. Water into wine. Yeah. He healed people. He made the deaf. Maybe could he just do CPR type shit. He, he, the blind could see. But see, those is for certain people. It's figurative. They take it it's as figurative. Yeah, other people they take it as yeah. figurative language. Yeah. Whereas, like, woke on you, water could have you, been. You're woke now. Like, it's like it's like saying I'm woke. Uh, it's like somebody in the future saying like, "Yo, that nigga." What's your thoughts on that? Tariq Nasheed really like woke people up from the dead. But in our generation, we're saying, yo, I'm woke. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. It's, it's you all, see what I'm saying? It's so it's all, like it's all figure of speech and like exactly. Like it's just the way you you interpret the narrative. Terminology, yeah, 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 yeah. What's your thoughts on 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 like on uh, like time travelers? And shit? You believe in that shit? I believe in it. time traveling. Time traveling. Yeah, I believe in time travel. Yeah, I believe. I believe, I believe in reincarnation of spirits. All of that. Mm. But I what? believe. Nah, I believe in that too. I believe in but, anything that the mind could conceive. It's 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 doable. I was watching some shit. I don't know. Because remember, we're like, only occupying ten percent. Yeah, I know. Twelve. Time travel will, will most likely take a device, though. 
It would take a machine. Every device is built based on the body. So you think you could just time travel just by like name one device eighty like percent. Name one device that is not built based on human body. Based on the human body. Yeah. If you name any electronic thing, it's off rip based on human body because it has something. The blender. It has a it, same thing. It, any electronic device, it's automatically uh, linked to human um, blueprint because it has like something functioning. I'm as pretty a brain, sure it's something out there. Which will be the chip. That I'm pretty sure something out there that's a machine that they don't Everything relate is based, to human body. No, I'm sorry. As long as it has a central nucleus, that's the brain. Period. All it's right. just that the All function right. may be different to what we can do, but that's what I'm getting at. All right. But anyway, because I don't know what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's some devices where, like, I don't know. What? Actually, obviously, it can't be like a vacuum. There's no human vacuums. Mm. I'm not talking about the functions. But think about time travel, though. Yeah. I, I forgot what I was That's watching. That's doable. It was something recently where it might have been the Avengers. Think, thinking about it, because like... And they went in the past? Not like at the end where like Captain America... Oh, when he back came back old? And lived with Maggie and, and had children and got married and shit. Like, and back in the day, you know, people... Most people believe that, like, if you go in the past, you could change the future. I don't believe that theory. I believe, like, in the theory they had in Avengers and in Dragon Ball Z, where you go back in time, you could change that timeline, but you don't change what happens in the future. You create a new timeline. It goes, like, you go, like, your timeline is here, you go back. But once you change some shit, it creates another timeline. It don't continue to what you're going to do in the future. It creates a whole new timeline. That's why... When they went back in time with Trunks, and they, um, well, when he went back in time, and he helped kill Cell and shit, his timeline didn't get fixed. His shit stayed fucked up. <laughs> yeah, Vegeta them um, still died. They, they, they still died. was dead. He had no Dragon Balls because fucking the uh, the Guardian died. Piccolo died, and then they died. Kami, so yeah. he couldn't even wish niggas back. Like I would have been. <laughs> <laughs> why he went back? I would have stayed in the timeline. Like that world is trash. But anyway, um, that's so interesting to me. Like time travel and shit, because I be watching sometimes YouTube videos and they be saying that like some people. I don't believe in that though. What people could go. Back? I believe that it would change. I, I I believe it would alter certain events in the future. I don't believe it creates like a new mm. path. Why you believe that? Because it makes most sense to you. Because we all have one self. What you mean? That means. According to that logic, be different versions that means either. there's different yeah. versions, there's different dimensions. So you don't believe in no, in, in 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 like alternative dimension, alternative nah, timeline? No, not really. I, I used to. I used to believe sure. in that. I used to believe. I mean, loosely, I still do to an extent. But yeah. see, with that, it's like I don't believe that alternative self is living the similar lifestyle. I think it's just alternative. I think if, like, if anything, it, like opposite. You're white. You're he's racist. a coon <laughs> he's a coon or i'm fucking racist or something maybe but i believe it's it's different it's but all it's, alternative don't mean it don't have to mean opposite it doesn't mean inverse i know but that's just how i view it because i ain't gonna lie i think i don't know that shit is interesting like what would be that one differentiating aspect of me, of me? yeah if it was another, in the alternative another alternative what would be i'd the probably one? be tall See, that's the opposite. <laughs> that's the <a> fucking opposite. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know. I probably would like if it's like slightly different, but not like uh opposite. I don't know. I probably would be like I probably would have a family right now. I probably have kids. I probably have like three kids right now. Low key. That's the opposite. It's it's not really no. It's not really opposite. It's that's... not really op- it's not really opposite. Opposite would be like. I'm like a hateful person. Opposite would be like, <laughs> I could be a murderer. You could be a murderer like right now though. Like that that doesn't really make sense. That doesn't really like substantiate that. 
I'm just saying. But yeah. Well, that's just interesting though. Time travel. But the reason like I brought up um the whole naval naval intelligence declassifying the UFO sightings mm-hmm. and all of that is because uh according to twenty eighteen and twenty nineteen statistics, UFO sightings has practically doubled. They're coming. From thirty three hundred to fifty nine hundred. They're coming. <laughs> but then again, that's if those sightings, the, those recordings are accurate. No, genuine. They're coming. I just don't. I don't know why they haven't just come down yet and like show themselves. They already here. I believe they already here. Yeah, Men in Black told us. But I don't see why they haven't just like came down yet and just be like, just made a proposition. Because I'm pretty sure. They got shit that if we do some dumb shit, they could just vaporize. I don't know how true this is, but I did come across this information years back. Like two years. Um, like, I I think it's either US or Russia, but they have like nuclear weapons in a particular area. Um, we do. Yeah, either US or Russia. Okay. A UFO appeared, and after the after it left, all the nuclear arms were um, disarmed. So what? The guns didn't work. Basically, they, they can't, disengaged. They jammed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like so they like, came, they pop up, put on a jam, and dipped. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. That's why I don't know why they don't. So just... whatever codes you put in, I don't care what you try to bypass with. It's not gonna arm the weapons. Yeah. So what the trigger just didn't work type shit? It's not gonna work. That's crazy. If that's true, that's crazy. It disarmed. But what I'm saying weapons. they got they got technology. Y'all can look into that. They, I believe they got technology to come down here, propose something like, look, y'all gonna be our pets for now. <laughs> or y'all don't, we just gonna start killing y'all. Also, some people. <laughs> what do you think about this? Some people uh, prescribe to. Aliens being our ancestors. I kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of fucking with that too. Low key. It makes sense. The Anunnaki clan and shit. Mixing with humans. It makes sense. Or some Naruto shit. Because if they're advanced, it's like they're living on a totally different plane of life. So no wonder everything is going to be more advanced and, and than and us. low key, like I think. And because they experience this realm, they could always come back. I'm. I believe that because cause I always believe that the aliens has something to do with like the pyramids being built. Same here. So it's like maybe they helped us and you know you and around like somebody gold. you 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 mix and mingle you know they what I'm like saying? gold little little wine mixer <laughs> you little lit and then you start having kids I'm telling you on some Naruto shit those who watch Naruto y'all know the lady came down Kaguya yeah you know what I'm saying she slept with them. Has sons, they slept with with they and they made children and then now nah, everybody fuck got new jinsu now. You know what I'm saying? They got they got chakra and all this other shit. And then all these generations and, later, and I think back then we was more came. had Mayan calendars that was determining the stars. I think we were way more in, intellectual back then. Because we was more in tune. Yeah. We, we was the fucking we was the the offspring of Hagoromo. Of <laughs> aliens and Hamura. And shit. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Interesting, though. Think about it. Mm-hmm. Well. Yeah. I see that being feasible. Aliens being your ancestors. Yeah. We're having a high conversation. We're not high. This is some high shit. Facts. <laughs> Fact. The story of the Anunnaki, that's interesting, but I nev- I'm not too, too versed with it. I understand, like, certain concept, but... Yeah, I, I, yeah. I really certain, don't. like, black spots, it's like, I need, need answers. We need William to come back home. My name yeah, William. chop it up. Shout out William. Hope you doing well, up. my nigga. That nigga was, like, talking about that shit. I've always been interested in ancient civilizations. Always. Do you have anything? 
I, that's all my uh, nah man this shit was a freestyle oh Trump Trump with the uh, injecting. oh yeah alright this is the last thing um <laughs> <laughs> yo Don Trump is mad funny that nigga is mad funny son he said he's on a podium he's making a speech and he was like I'm paraphrasing but he was basically saying well you know the virus you know um you know disinfectant i heard it kills the virus in under a minute you know that's pretty good um is there any way that we could you know get that in the body you know by injection <laughs> he, he looked at the doctor to his right some lady and she when he said it he's like oh yeah so you're a doctor right you said we could test that we could test that she didn't say shit the whole time he talking she didn't <laughs> say nothing and then he said something like oh yeah the uh he mentioned something about um ultraviolet lights you know i heard that you know could get inside the skin and and it, it, your doctor you can help with that right and he looked at her and, and she ain't say shit she just let him talk let him talk and he just kept on going on about something else i don't know man i don't know how i don't know how he meant it i didn't see the interview i don't i didn't see the speech but um, i saw it but if he, that's how he meant to, he like, mentioned disinfectant, like inject. And then he said by injection in the body. If he meant, oh yeah, I forgot to say this. I actually looked into, uh, looked into it when I first heard about it, but I didn't watch the when he, I didn't watch his speech. And according to NIH, they've been uh, apparently Probably experimenting doing it. with injecting disinfectant since the 1940s it probably was probably was is it helping i wonder if it's with the nazis is it probably was because they was doing wild shit yeah nazis was doing mad OD experiments they was doing wild shit like it probably was bro and it's been proven to work according to nih <laughs> that's the funny thing wait what it's been proven to work all right so how about all of y'all start Start injecting your kids with some disinfectant. No, of course. Yeah, of course. But then again, that'd it's be my like, thing with these niggas. Like, do it first. These publications, you can't a- accept 100% of what they say. Do it first. Do it first. I don't even care if you do it first. Leaders I don't lead. even want to do it. I know. I'm just saying. I leaders just use lead. it. I just subscribe. Keep doing the herbal way. Leaders lead, son. That's, 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 that's all my thing is. Leaders lead. But what if let's scratch all that, right? What if it's proven to work? Would you and would you go to the hospital and get injected with some like? I'm Clorox? not. I don't want to inject my no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not injecting my body with anything. I I don't like injections. But period. it's proven to work though, Dominic. I'm not sick. I'm I'm fine. I figure it out. But we want to give it to you. What? We want to give it to you. Okay, let's say you're sick. I got shit in my crib to help me out. No, nah, we we want to give you some of this fabuloso. We're gonna Mugging. give you. <laughs> we gonna Mugging. inject you with some fabuloso. Bro, didn't he mention something about some type of? It was something similar. It was some type of. Some type of, chemical or, medicine or something, that helps against viruses, but, they have a similar component that's in like. Like fish filters or like f- fish tank filters. You didn't hear about that shit? Mm-mm. He mentioned something that was like, hey, I think he, he was joking though, but you're a president, so you can't joke about shit like that. He said something about, I forgot the name. I know all the Trumpers are going to be like, hi, see, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, It was some type of chemical or medicine or some type of something that he was like, yeah, I think it may work. I think it may help. Mm hmm. And then some older couple had something like similar. I think it was like, it wasn't what, exactly what he's talking about, but it was inside of something that helps like clean fish bowls and shit. And they took it out their fish bowl and both like ingested it and the husband died. They're fucking retarded. <laughs> Why would you, know you say that? Like, yo, people follow this nigga like blindly, blindly. Like it's, it's, it's crazy, but yeah, you know. That's the country we in right now. That's the world we in. You know what I'm saying? That's it. If Obama told you to... Obama? Yeah. If he was president again, Mm -hmm. 
and he told you to if you inject curry sauce in your veins it it cure you of everything would you do it That's a what do yes. you think? What do you think? I, I, I think you would. I think I think all y'all Gandhi's niggas would trust Obama that blindly. No, just anything with curry. Then it's, it's, it doesn't. It do, okay, so it, if it's anything to do with curry, then it shouldn't matter who it's coming from. Then I just wanted to mention the president, mention yeah. somebody black. Yeah, but no, nah, niggas ain't doing that. That's cap. Niggas ain't doing That's that. That's cap. That's. Yeah. You had curry today? <laughs> you had curry chicken today? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, you did. Today, no, no. I had it two days ago. It's in your crib, though, right now. Mm -mm, it's finished. That's cap. No, for real. For real. All right. It's finished. Yo. That's it? That's it. No, no fact of the week. We'll have more topics for y'all next week. <laughs> Enjoy the freestyle, though. Let that niggas think a little bit. You keep calling it a freestyle. It's that just, was a freestyle. I was freestyling. I didn't. You have just have regular plan. conversation though. Yeah, usually we have topics though. That's what I'm saying. So do you think it was boring? Nah, it wasn't boring. We just oh, we, okay. we just freestyle. Freestyle is not boring. I I think it was cool. Yo, <laughs> thank y'all for. We had like four man. topics. <laughs> All right, yo, bang. <laughs>